Hi there, welcome back. Today we are going to install a very nice wiki. For many years I've been looking at how to publish my content. I've been using a rather complicated way to create my content and here I have a practical, well-designed and very popular wiki that produces exactly what I wanted and I wish I had seen this earlier. It would have saved me a lot of time as I use Hugo to create the content and then I have to publish it to the server, upload it and publish it and, and it makes my life complicated. If I had this wiki installed on my blog server, it would have made my life easier. We have provided instructions for this video in our blog page down below. In our blog page you will find the following links. This is the official Wiki.js website. As you can see, they support Kubernetes, Docker. You can run it on Mac, Windows, and even on Linux. Their documentation is excellent. They have a Get Started page. We prefer to use the stable version, this version here. If you click on this button, you will get their instructions. However, we did not like their Docker Compose file and we have come up with something better. And they have a Docker Compose file. You can see that they expose the credentials of the database in the Docker Compose file. That is not a good practice. We prefer to use a .env file, which is a hidden file, and in there we will put our credentials. We have taken this and we have improved on this. We have provided instructions for this video in our blog page. Have a look at the link down below. Enough said, let's get our hands dirty. Now that we have looked at their instructions and at their Docker Compose file, let's start doing that in our Proxmox server. We have an LXC container and in this LXC container we have installed Docker. And we will open this, and in there we will open the console. Let's clear the screen. The first thing you want to do is you want to log in as a root user. Now you can see that I'm already logged in as root, but if you are not, you can just say sudo su dash. Now that I've logged in as root, I want to create the folder. So, so let's do that. In the OPT folder, in the stacks folder, we are going to create wiki.js. And then dash p as that already exists on my server. And then we are going to open that folder. Now we are going to create the compose file, the docker compose file. And by now you're probably bored because you've always heard me talking about compose.yaml, but that is the modern name for the docker compose file. We will now go to our blog page and get the content for this. So if you look in this section here, copy this whole thing from there right to the bottom. Copy. Now you run this command. You will notice that I've already got it there, as I always test the application before I make a video to save you time and not waste your time. So in your case, you would go and say paste. However, I don't want to break my working server, so I won't do that. And then you will say Control S for save and X as in X-ray to exit. Having done that, let's clear the screen. Now we need to create the .env file.
Likewise, we go back to our blog page and you copy this section here. Again, as I mentioned, I had to do this to test the app. You would click paste, I'm not going to do that, and then control S, control X. And a little bit of white beer. Maybe I should say Italy's best. I like to use Dutch, and you will see why. So you delete that. You go to our instructions and you get the YAML. You paste it in there. I'm going to give it the name Wiki2, WikiJS2. and also the container. And since I already have this container running, I'm going to call it DB2. But what I do need to do is I do need to change the port. We also go to our blog page and we copy this part here. Paste it there. Then we save this. We will now start the wiki server from here. Now you could also do it this way. You can say docker compose up always dash D to be in detached mode. I'd rather do it here. And it has started. You can go to our wiki and in here we have a section where we have the URLs. So it's your server's IP colon 9880. In my case, it will be this link. You now need to put the email address. And the password. Use a strong password. Confirm the password. And for our domain name, let's take this here. Now I'm going to add my port. We will allow telemetry and now we install. We will save the password and log in. Now we will create a home page. Let's call this welcome. And we'll call the tag welcome as well. And we will say OK.
This is a very nice editor. It reminds me a bit of Hugo. I use Hugo for our blog page where I keep all the instructions. So I like this. We have now rendered our first page. This produces a very simple wiki, very easy to manage, and produces nice looking pages. I like their template that they are using. I'm now going to search. If we want to search the website, you click here, and let's search for wiki. And there we are, there we found it. And we can click on it and it takes us there. We can also browse by tags. There's the welcome, takes us there, and there we are on the welcome page. We can now edit the page. If you click here, you can also edit the information on the tags. So here we are. These are the title and uh, a description of the page and where it's located. It's in the home. You can schedule publishing of, this, of your pages. So th this produces a professional wiki where you are able to schedule when a change to your site goes live. Or this page will appear on this day and it will go down on that day. So if you want to do a campaign or something, this is very nice. Not only can you work with Markdown, but you can also use HTML. And style sheets as well. So you can really produce professional looking pages. I like this WYSIWYG editor. If you're not familiar with Markdown and want to add a link, you just click on here. And now we can draw a diagram. Now we've published that. If you click the administration icon, you can manage your pages, you can manage your users, you can create groups, you can impose a theme on your site, you can add tags. As you can see, this is quite a comprehensive wiki or web server that you can use. Very easy to manage and works very nicely. We trust you found this interesting. Please give us a like, subscribe to our channel as we haven't reached our target yet. And with that we say, Bye a danke tot sins. Grazie mille. Ciao, ciao. Sefkaristo sinaderfe. Ja. Domo arigato tomadachi sayonara.